You know I, mean? so I had to get fly for y'all, man. But today's video, ooh, this is going to be one of them fangs on the fang, fang. Man, I hope this don't ruffle no feathers, but it probably will. So this video is going to be about five fragrances that I didn't like at first, and then they've grown on me and I've started to like or even love them in some cases. And I'm also talking about five fragrances that I used to love, and now I absolutely cannot stand. Are y'all ready for the video? Let's get up in it. First, we're going to start off with the fragrances that I didn't like at first, but now I've grown to like and even love these fragrances. First is going to be a Middle Eastern brand. Now, keep in mind, these are the ones that I didn't like at first, but now I love them. And that's going to be Celestial by Paris Corner. Man, I've been going back and forth with this fragrance for a long time. I hated it more than I loved it though, but now I understand this fragrance and I absolutely love it. It is one of those compliment monsters. It is a different fragrance. You will not smell like anybody else in the room. Any specifics y'all want to know about any of these fragrances, drop them in the comments and I'll respond to them. Y'all know I respond right back. I don't want to hold this video up because it's 10 fragrances. You hear me? So yes, Celestial, I hated it. Now I love it. Next fragrance on the list is from 1 million, and this is 1 million Royal. Man, when I first got this fragrance, I bought it the day it released in the US. And I, I just thought it was a blah fragrance, like blah, blah, whatever. Like it was boring to me. Of course, I let it sit. And now, when I spray this on, it just absolutely makes me want to keep sniffing and keep sniffing myself. It's one of them fragrances. This is a nice, sweet, slightly spicy fragrance. I absolutely love it now. And you know what makes it even better? The ladies love it even more. Yeah. Y'all know I ain't lying. <laughs> Get that. Next on the list is Givenchy Society. This is the original Society. The, um, yeah, EDP. This is the original one. I own the other one as well, but I'm not ready to talk about that one yet. But this one, yes. Yeah. So I bought it first day in the mall. I bought it. And then I smelled it. And I'm like, man, it smelled like every other fragrance that blah, blah, blah. It was another one of them. Why you released this fragrance? And then I came back and visited and I smelled it. And I cannot stop wearing this fragrance. This is one of them dumb reach fragrances. This smells so good. So good. One of them sweet fragrance. Man, one of my partners. I told him to uh, get Invictus Victory, Elixir. Was it Elixir? No, I'm sorry. Invictus Victory, the one with the gold V on it. And he got it. He bought it. Long story short, he said, man, that's too sweet. I don't want to wear that. I said, bro, give it a try. Them ladies like them sweet fragrances. See, some men are too manly and can't see themselves wearing the sweet fragrances. Bro, y'all tell, tell these people in the comments that the women love them sweet fragrances, bro. I ain't going to stay y'all wrong. Next. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is Invictus. And I believe this is the one that's Elixir. Yes. This is Invictus Elixir. The uh, I don't know if you can see the blue tinge at the bottom of the bottle. This is not the black and gold one. This is actually blue. And at first when I smelled this fragrance, I was super underwhelmed. I was like, blah 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 this is not that thing on a fine thing but man the more and more i wore this fragrance i absolutely love this fragrance but to me this is a date night fragrance because it don't it's not a monster it don't project super crazy but cozy the ladies will love this up close and personal right here this is an up close and personal fragrance trust me on this one y'all let it grow I'm I'm famous for smelling the fragrance for the first time and be like, man, I'm selling this. I don't like this no more. You got to, I learned personally from my experience, you got to sit with these fragrances, man. You got to sit with them. Come back and revisit them thing. You hear me? Last on the list of fragrances that I did not like at first, but now I love is the one and only Versace Eros Energy. Y'all know I dogged this fragrance out when I first, first bought it. Just look at the video. Go check the video out. I dogged this fragrance out. I was like, blah, blah, blah. Another Aventus. Here we go again. 
smells like Mont Blanc Explore. Man, the more I wore this, and, and look, before I go any further, compliment beast, compliment monster. Nobody you meet or encounter is gonna not like how this fragrance smells. This is sweeter than a vent. This is a sweeter Aventus. I absolutely love this fragrance. It kind of smells like sweet tarts, the candy, but not in a bad way. I don't mean that in a bad way. This is a delicious. Oh, I love this fragrance now. I'm sorry for downing it. Y'all was right. I was wrong. I can admit that. So that's the end of the fragrances that I hated and now I love. Now let's talk about some fragrances that I liked at first and now I absolutely cannot stand them. First on the list, let me ruffle y'all feathers with this one. Bam! Don't get that. Now, before I talk, okay, this is Parfums de Marley Greenleaf. Now, as you can see, I done banged this fragrance down, man, and used a bunch of it. But I'm not saying it don't smell good. But what I am saying is I feel some type of way that I paid $400 for this fragrance. Because what you're getting is not worth 400 It don't smell like a $400 fragrance. It just smells like soap. Plain and simple. But it is a compliment monster. People seem to love this on your skin. But I feel like for 400 and something dollars, you could get something 20 times better than this. Don't get me wrong. It still smells good. But come on, man. This is a $100 fragrance. Like, come on. This is a $100 fragrance. Keep it real. Next on the list, man, I'm so disappointed in this thing right here. I'm so goddamn disappointed in this thing. This is that new Azaro Wanted, man. I done forgot the name. This is the new Azaro Wanted, most wanted, intense. And then it's a damn EDT. Man, bruh, let me tell y'all something, man. When I, you see, I bought it. I bought the full bottle. So when I smelled it in the store, I was like, ooh, this that thing on the Fine, fine. Man, I've been hating this fragrance ever since I got home and wore it. Now, maybe I'll make a future video on this fragrance about how I like it again. But right now, I cannot stand. I cannot stand this fragrance. It is just so damn boring. How can y'all release this Azara? Y'all got so many great fragrances. And for y'all to release this, pissed off. But I'm more pissed at myself. Because I like this when I first smelled it. Now I cannot stand it. Who wants this bottle? Speak up now and you can have it. I promise you can have it. Next on the list, man. Mansara, this has got to be our worst fragrance I ever smelled. And this is Mansara Roses and Chocolate. Roses and Chocolate. Man, so crazy thing about this fragrance. I bought it to wear on Valentine's night because it's Roses and Chocolate. And I wore it on Valentine's night. And the girl that I was with, she loved it. I liked it. But then it just don't, this fragrance just don't work on any day besides Valentine's Day. You try spraying this, this, this stinks. I, I just don't like this. I don't like this. I do not like this. I don't want to even elaborate on it. Next one on the list. Oh my God, I'm about to ruffle y'all. Hold up, let me take a break because y'all about to get ruffled. Yeah. I told y'all y'all feathers about to get ruffled, but before I do that, just understand, this is my honest opinion. And that's that's all you can ask for me, that I be honest with y'all because I've heard a lot of people out there not keeping it real with y'all. But this is a fragrance that I absolutely love and now I cannot stand it. And it is Le Mal. Of course, y'all know it's Ultra Male. Ultra male. Man, I used the club banger. This thing was a club banger. Now it just smells sickly sweet to me. I, I just, it's just too sweet for me now. I don't know. It's just too sweet. Uh, I just don't like this fragrance at all anymore. I could see a young teenage guy loving this fragrance. I just, it just ain't for me no more. I've outgrown this fragrance, man. It's just a sweet mess to me, man. Last but not least, now this, 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 this fragrance has brought me a lot of, what are you wearing? I never smelled nothing like that before. Damn, what's that you wearing? See, I like when people ask me what I'm wearing and not tell me what I'm wearing. And that is Dolce Gabbana Light Blue Sun. Okay, Light Blue Sun. 
I used to go crazy over this fragrance when I first. Oh, I can't stand it now. I can't stand it. It smells super salty and like a like a rotten orange type of. I I cannot stand this smell anymore. I just can't stand it. It's another one I do not care to elaborate on. So with that being said, I want y'all to drop in the comments some fragrances that you used to love and now you hate or vice versa, some fragrances you used to hate and now you love them. Let me know in the comments, man. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all for sticking around with me. Y'all know I'm working two, three jobs and I'm still finding time to make these videos for y'all, man. You know I'm nothing without y'all. It's your boy M Extra. Get that!